Charles IV, Holy Roman Emperor. Charles IV, born Wenceslas, was a king of Bohemia and the first king of Bohemia to also become Holy Roman Emperor. He was a member of the House of Luxembourg from his father's side and the Czech House of Premislid from his mother's side. He emphasized the latter duetto his lifelong affinity for the Czech side of his inheritance, and also because his direct ancestors in the Premislid line included two saints. He was the eldest son and heir of King John of Bohemia, who died at the Battle of Cressy on August 26, 1346. His mother, Elizabeth of Bohemia, was the sister of King Wenceslas III, the last of the male Premislid rulers of Bohemia. Charles inherited the county of Luxembourg from his father and was elected king of the Kingdom of Bohemia. On September 2, 1347, Charles was crowned king of Bohemia. On July 11, 1346, the prince electors chose him as king of the Romans in opposition to Emperor Louis IV. Charles was crowned on November 26, 1346, in Bonn. After his opponent died, he was re elected in 1349 and crowned king of the Romans. In 1355, he was crowned King of Italy and Holy Roman Emperor. With his coronation as King of Burgundy in 1365, he became the personal ruler of all the kingdoms off the Holy Roman Empire. Charles IV was born to King John of the Luxembourg dynasty and Queen Elizabeth of Bohemia of the Czech Premislid dynasty in Prague. He was originally named Wenceslas, the name of his maternal grandfather, King Wenceslas II. He chose the name Charles at his confirmation in honor of his uncle. King Charles IV of France, at whose court he was resident for seven years. He received French education and was literate and fluent in five languages, Latin, Czech, German, French, and Italian. In 1331, he gained some experience of warfare in Italy with his father. At the beginning of 1333, Charles went to Lucca to consolidate his rule there. In an effort to defend the city, Charles founded the nearby fortress in the town of Monte Carlo. From 1333, he administered the lands of the Bohemian crown due to his father's frequent absence and deteriorating eyesight. In 1334, Charles was named Margrave of Moravia, the traditional title for heirs to the throne. Two years later, he assumed the government of Tyrol on behalf of his brother, John Henry, and was soon actively involved in a struggle for the possession of this county. On July 11, 1346, in consequence of an alliance between his father and Pope Clement VI, Relentless enemy of the Emperor Louis IV, Charles was chosen as Roman King in opposition to Louis by some of the prince electors at Rennes. As he had previously promised to be subservient to Clement, he made extensive concessions to the Pope in 1347. Confirming the papacy in the possession of vast territories, he promised to annul the acts of Louis against Clement, to take no part in Italian affairs, and to defend and protect the Church. Charles IV was in a very weak position in Germany. Owing to the terms of his election, he was derisively referred to as a priest's king. Many bishops and nearly all of the imperial cities remained loyal to Louis the Bavarian. Worse still, Charles backed the wrong side in the Hundred Years' War, losing his father and many of his best knights at the Battle of Cressy in August 1346, with Charles himself escaping from the field wounded. Civil war in Germany was prevented, however, when Louis IV died on October 11, 1347. After suffering a stroke during a bear hunt. In January 1349, House of Wittelsbach partisans attempted to secure the election of Gunter von Schwarzberg as king, but he attracted few supporters and he'd unnoticed and unmourned after a few months. Thereafter, Charles faced no direct threat to his claim to the imperial throne. Charles initially worked to secure his power base. Bohemia had remained untouched by the plague. Prague became his capital and he rebuilt the city on the model of Paris, establishing the new town. In 1348, he founded the Charles University in Prague, which was later named after him and was the first university in Central Europe. This served as a training ground for bureaucrats and lawyers. Soon Prague emerged as the intellectual and cultural center of Central Europe. Having made good use of the difficulties of his opponents, Charles was again elected in Frankfurt on June 17, 1349 and re-crowned at Aachen on July 25, 1349. He was soon the undisputed ruler of the empire. Gifts or promises had won the support of the Rhenish and Swabian towns, a marriage alliance secured the friendship of the Habsburgs, and an alliance with Rudolf II of Bavaria, Count Palatine at the Rhine, was obtained when Charles, who had become a widower in 1348, married Rudolf's daughter Anna. In 1350, the king was visited at Prague by the Roman tribune Colidi Rienzo, 
who urged him to go to Italy, where the poet Petrarch and the citizens of Florence also implored his presence. Turning a deaf ear to these entreaties, Charles kept Cola in prison for a year, and then handed him as a prisoner to Clement at Avignon. Outside Prague, Charles attempted to expand the Bohemian crown lands, using his imperial authority to acquire fiefs in Silesia, the Upper Palatinate, and Franconia. The latter regions comprised New Bohemia, a string of possessions intended to link Bohemia with the Luxembourg territories in the Rhineland. The Bohemian estates, however, were not willing to support Charles in these ventures. When Charles sought to codify Bohemian law in the Miestas Carolina of 1355, he met with sharp resistance. After that point, Charles found it expedient to scale back his efforts at centralization. In 1354, Charles crossed the Alps without an army, received the Lombard crown in St. Ambrose Basilica, Milan, on January 5, 1355, and was crowned emperor at Rome by a cardinal in April of the same year. His sole object appears to have been to obtain the imperial crown in peace, in accordance with a promise previously made to Pope Clement. He only remained in the city for a few hours, in spite of the expressed wishes of the Roman people. Having virtually abandoned all the imperial rights in Italy, the emperor recrossed the Alps, pursued by the scornful words of Petrarch, but laden with considerable wealth. On his return, Charles was occupied with the administration of the empire, then just recovering from the Black Death, and in 1356, he promulgated the famous Golden Bull to regulate the election of the king. Having given Moravia to one brother, John Henry, and erected the county of Luxembourg into a duchy for another, Wenceslas, he was unremitting in his efforts to secure other territories as compensation and to strengthen the Bohemian monarchy. To this end he purchased part of the Upper Palatinate of the Rhine in 1353, and in 1367 annexed Lower Lusatia to Bohemia and bought numerous estates in various parts of Germany. On the death of Meinhard, Duke of Upper Bavaria and Count of Tyrol, in 1363, Upper Bavaria was claimed by the sons of the Emperor Louis IV, and the role by Rudolf IV, Duke of Austria. Both claims were admitted by Charles on the understanding that if these families died out, both territories should pass to the House of Luxembourg. At about the same time, he was promised the succession to the Margravate of Brandenburg, which he actually obtained for his son Wenceslas in 1373. Casimir III of Poland and Louis I of Hungary entered a conspiracy against Charles and managed to persuade Otto V of Bavaria to join. After the repeal of the estate contract by Margrave Otto, in early July 1371, Charles IV declared hostilities and invaded Brandenburg. After two years of conflict Margraviate of Brandenburg in 1373 became part of the Czech lands. He also gained a considerable portion of Silesian territory, partly by inheritance through his third wife, Anna von Schweidnitz, daughter of Henry II, Duke of Swidnica and Catherine of Hungary. In 1365, Charles visited Pope Urban V at Avignon and undertook to escort him to Rome, on the same occasion he was crowned King of Burgundy at Arles. His second journey to Italy took place in 1368, when he had a meeting with Pope Urban V of Viterbo, was besieged in his palace at Siena, and left the country before the end of 1369. During his later years, the emperor took little part in German affairs beyond securing the election of his son Wenceslas as king of the Romans in 1376, and negotiating a peace between the Swabian League of Cities and some nobles in 1378. After dividing his lands between his three sons and his nephews, he died in November 1378 at Prague, where he was buried, and where a statue was erected to his memory in 1848. Charles IV suffered from gout, a painful disease quite common in that time. The reign of Charles IV was characterized by a transformation in the nature of the empire and is remembered as the Golden Age of Bohemia. He promulgated the Golden Bull of 1356, whereby the succession to the imperial title was laid down, which held for the next four centuries. He also organized the states of the empire into peacekeeping confederations. In these, the imperial cities figured prominently. The Swabian Landfried Confederation of 1370 was made up almost entirely of imperial cities. At the same time, the leagues were organized and led by the crown and its agents. As with the electors, the cities that served in these leagues were given privileges to aid in their efforts to keep the peace. He assured his dominance over the eastern borders of the empire through succession treaties with the Habsburgs and the purchase of Brandenburg. He also claimed imperial lordship over the Crusader states of Prussia and Livonia. Prague became the capital of the Holy Roman Empire during the reign of Charles IV. 
The name of the royal founder and patron remains on many monuments and institutions, for example Charles University, Charles Bridge, Charles Square. High Gothic Prague Castle and part of the Cathedral of St. Vitus by Peter Parler were also built under his patronage. Finally, the first flowering of manuscript painting in Prague dates from Charles Rain. In the present Czech Republic, he is still regarded as Peter Patrii, a title first coined by Ad Albertus Ranconis de Aracinio at his funeral. Charles also had strong ties to Nuremberg, staying within its city walls 52 times and thereby strengthening its reputation amongst German cities. Charles was the patron of the Nuremberg Frauenkirche, built between 1352 and 1362 where the imperial court worshipped during its stays in Nuremberg. Charles' imperial policy was focused on the dynastic sphere and abandoned a lofty ideal of the empire as a universal monarchy of Christendom. In 1353, he granted the Duchy of Luxembourg to his half-brother, Wenceslas. He concentrated his energies chiefly on the economic and intellectual development of Bohemia, where he founded the university in 1348 and encouraged the early humanists. He corresponded with Petrarch and invited him to visit the royal residence in Prague, whilst the Italian hoped, to no avail, to see Charles move his residence to Rome and reawaken tradition of the Roman Empire. Charles' sister Bona married the eldest son of Philip VI of France, the future John II of France, in 1335. Thus, Charles was the maternal uncle of Charles V of France, who solicited his relative's advice at Metz in 1356 during the Parisian Revolt. This family connection was celebrated publicly when Charles made a solemn visit to his nephew in 1378, just months before his death. A detailed account of the occasion, enriched by many splendid miniatures, can be found in Charles V's copy of the Grand's Chronique de France. Charles was married four times. His first wife was Blanche of Valois, daughter of Charles, Count of Valois, and a half-sister of Philip VI of France. They had three children. He secondly married Anna of Bavaria, daughter of Rudolf II, Duke of Bavaria, they had one son. His third wife was Anna von Schweidnitz, daughter of Henry II, Duke of Swidnica and Katerina of Anjou, by whom he had three children. His fourth wife was Elizabeth of Pomerania, daughter of Duke Bogislaw V, Duke of Pomerania and Elizabeth of Poland, daughter of Casimir III of Poland. They had six children. Castles built or established by Charles IV other places named after Charles. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.